Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Old Maxi. I educate you in the things that you need. So my channel, if you don't know me, my channel focus on education information, I do cooking, family engagement, like going to the zoo, botanical garden, parks, um, aquariums, museums. I do I also do videos on classroom ideas. We focus on activity to do with the children, bulletin board ideas, things to do. Uh, I focus on the studies of units. Um, I also do gathering ideas and craft, which I do experiment also with plants, how they grow to see if they do and work. And I do product review. So you haven't done so at this time, take the time to subscribe the link down the bottom so one of the questions that's going on on YouTube is COBA I'm a small channel I just started um I don't know how this affects me so far I don't get no commission because I need to qualify for it um, some of my videos do focus on child because I do reading I do story time when I focus on giving information to the children regarding the part of the book, how to read it, how to open it. I involve them in questions that it could be helpful for them when they go to school. So the question we always have, and now that it's going on on YouTube all over the place, is COPA. The COPA is the Children Online Privacy Protection Act. It protects the privacy of children under 13 years old. COPA is not COPA, which is COPA, the Child Online Protection Act. It focuses on exposure of children to online pornography. Mm, that's very interesting. If you go online on COPA, Children Online Privacy Protection Act, you also can read many information, how to comply with the privacy act, and it tell you more information, who must comply. So why it was created? It was created, of course, to create to protect the privacy of children under 13. This was due to the growth of the online marketing targeting children in the 1990s. This law was created. In 1998, the US Congress passed the act which took effect in 2000. So COPA is managed by, of course, the Federal Trade Commission, which is the FTC. Of course, we always want to know what the FTC. So the FTC, okay, see right here was, so the FTC, if you go to the FTC.gov, you have many information that tell you. It I'll tell you what the FTC do, the history, the commissioners, the office, the budget, the performance, and many more information. All you gotta do is reading. You got to get yourself informed because I do not know how the FTC, you know, with the COPA new law going on on YouTube is going to affect my channel in the future once I reach my requirements to get advertised. Yes, I know there is a fine that if you don't change your channel to children within COPA. It's gonna make it's making changes to the YouTube channel. Yes, it is making a lot of changes, and a lot of us YouTube videos are being some of us are being panicked because we our videos are focused on children and it affects our channel and the way we get commission for it. But there's always a way. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not. No one to tell you what to do with your channel. All you got to do is get informed. That's what I'm doing myself, getting informed and making some modifications to my channel to protect myself. You know, I, I don't give you legal rights of what to do. You should know as a creator what your channel is about, what's your main focus. I know my main focus on my channel is it does attract children, but necessary had to be all at the same age of under 13 years old it could be older too 
and also I'm doing cooking, of course. A child under 13 or seven year old or five year old cannot go to the kitchen and start burning stuff. Of course, that's not attracting children under there. So when it comes to cooking wise, it's go to a different channel. So the ATC. So it's it. So this, as you can see their mission, their vision, and the strategy goal is it to protect consumers from unfair and deceptive practices in the marketplace. Of course, there are many different marketplace challenges who want the benefit to make their own money. Of course, everyone has their own business and they gotta protect the business the best way they can. So what do you do? It's here. Everything is here. All you do is get yourself informed and read it. You can find it always in ftc.gov if you need more information. As a creator, get yourself informed. Don't try to get the wrong idea. I am not telling you what to do. I'm doing this for myself again. I don't want no one to take the wrong idea that I'm doing this to give a legal advice. I'm not a lawyer. So you be the judge of your own self of what you need to do. I know all these changes. So what to do? We gotta protect ourselves. Look in the FTC, tell you protecting consumer. What does that mean? It says not nice, loud, and clear. The FTC protects consumers by stopping unfair, deceptive, or fraudulent practice in the marketplace. We conduct investigation sue companies and people that violate the law develop rules to ensure a vibrant marketplace and educate consumers and businesses about the rights don't forget about the rights and responsibilities we collect complaints about hundreds of use issues from data security and deceptive advertising to identify theft and do not call violations and make them available to law enforcement agencies worldwide for follow-up our experience and motive staff use the 21st century tools to anticipate and respond to changes in the marketplace so is they trying to protect you so FTC is trying to protect consumer. So according to the FTC, who must comply? It tell you everything you need to know. Is they online? You can read it. See who must comply? Is you know I'm reading this and I'm like who must comply? Oh my God! So many things are different that we need to. Well, I myself need to figure out if. I want to continue doing my channel or I had to make changes. So he said, who must comply? So he said, it determines if a website is directed to children, according to the FTC. He said, to determine whether a website is directed to children, the FTC considers several factors. The factors which I took effect, which I took myself in consideration to do to my channel. He said, including to the subject matter, Visual audio content, the age of models on the site, language, whether advertising on the website is directed to children, information regarding the age of the actual or intended audience, and whether a site uses animated char characters, whether a site uses animated characters or other child-oriented features. My channel does have animated characters. Especially my main focus um my channel does use animated characters. They don't use Disney characters. They don't use book characters. Well of course my books they have characters on it. So that's of course is intended audience for children. So how will we end up like this? Dun 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 Are you using the YouTube channel? I know parents, I know a few years back, we have the problem with a certain video that I will not repeat here the name of it, that was 
making children do things to the family and those videos that were coming out were actually in the kids in YouTube kids how we get here so YouTube channels owner is the content director children many of our children watch YouTube that's like the main web I myself put my children to watch YouTube channel I like to use the kids channel of YouTube which doesn't have too many advertising yes there's some you know ads there that in the channels for children are a little bit appropriate but that's the telemarketing that's how it goes a business a business you're trying to make the best way you can but it got to the point for myself that sometimes those ads were not properly in the right channel. So, I don't know if that's one of the reasons the YouTube Seed got involved or they were all the other reasons behind it that a cold bot hit hard on Google and YouTube regarding that situation. So, YouTube and Google were sued for. 170 million dollars for alleged violation of children privacy law which they were collecting data from children of course i don't know what can i say myself i'm not a lawyer and i didn't vote with them i'm just trying to get myself involved uh everybody has their own personal ideas what is going on with this situation so that's september 4 19 these people were released that tell you that why google was and YouTube were zoo and they had to pay a settlement for the Federal Trade Commission FTC part of COPA so a settlement with the UTC says in addition to the monetary penalty the process settlement requires Google and YouTube to develop implement and maintain a system that permits channels owner to identify their child direct content on YouTube platform so that YouTube can ensure it is compliant with COPA. Yes, I know a lot of us have YouTube channels that is child directed. My is child directed, not the whole channel completely. That's why I had to make changes and modify, see what I can do. So I don't get no violations done. So what does that mean for my channel? many things to me it means that i could change kinds of my channel close it up or i could just continue i can make changes let's see i like to educate i like to read um especially the storybook story especially doing story time because i have looked way to show children how to read books and so far all the other books i see yes they do an amazing job in doing storytelling reading is to there are great channels there that kids love to read the books because they're so fun and entertained i myself have a couple of them that i like my children see it because they are so entertained for them and they love it but with the cop that i bought i'm afraid some of them are going to start making videos so i don't really know what's going to happen in the future especially in january with everything going to an effect so for my channel, this was my original channel. As you can see, I have a character. This is my character. I don't have that long in my channel. I had me a couple of months. I signed up in June and before the summer. And then there was summer, I didn't do anything. I was traveling, go back and forth. Wasn't really focused until recently that I got back on September that I posted my first video which was just about hands on up for hitting because we had children that like to hit a lot, especially when school start and we know we need a book for them to read. So as a small YouTube channel, okay. I think I'm not so much on the water with Copa. I think I can say I fully am being honest because you never know. So this is my channel beautiful but I had to make some changes so when I go to the YouTube channel myself is to the dashboard it gave me information YouTube is trying to make sure that your channel is safe 
I feel like it's trying to protect me. Because once I hit the dashboard, I have this. This is new. It said view customized notification for your channel. Look, it said earn money, earn more money on your YouTube videos. Hmm. But I don't understand yet how that witch is gonna work yet. I'm still playing with it. It's new. So, and again, you go back and then you have two different links. What should I do? I don't know what should I do. I'm still debating. <laughs> we all are. We all, you know, as a YouTube creator, you're still thinking and panicking. Oh my God, if I don't pull my channel to be child friendly or under 13. I'm gonna get a fine, I'm gonna get the cop up, the FTC against me. I don't know what to do. And you know, you get stressed because if you are those channels who depend, this is your career on YouTube and now you're being hit hard financially, it could be devastating. It's like losing your job and you have so many things to pay and you can't anymore. It can become very difficult and frustrating. So I, once you go to the dashboard, I'll click on my video. I have this now. Important. To all creators are obligated to take action to comply with the Children Online Privacy Protection Act. What all the laws? Which is good. It's how you learn more. Don't skip that. You know, be informed. That's all I could say. Uh, that's a suggestion. You know, I'm not a lawyer telling you, oh, follow that, do that. No. Myself. I gave myself informed and I go straight to the point so I know what's going to happen. So then you have another link that says you are legally required to comply with the Children Online Protection Act, COPA, and all the law. You're required to tell us if your videos are made for kids. Use the new YouTube studio. Hmm. There, you know, it's part of YouTube. YouTube is trying to protect you, you know, to comply with COPA to protect your channel. You know, I know if YouTube don't want no one to comply, most likely they will not help you. Cause I know the first time I got to my channel, and so I was I went to change my all my videos to be kids for made for kids. It had a link on the bottom saying, "Oh, it's already set up by YouTube as a kid." I was like, "Oh, I didn't set it up." Some videos were not set up and some were. Because I already did some that were set up made for kids and some I didn't. And those, they were set up by YouTube. So I myself feel like YouTube, even though it's a business and marketing, you know, they got to make protect their own company. They're trying to help me protect myself. Yes, there are some things on the day that everybody doesn't know what's really going on, what's going to happen. Everybody's losing their mind. I sometimes was losing my mind, just being on and on, trying to read, get information back and forward. So I gotta make sure I'm informed. I know many of us are still doing it. So, so once I hit that click, it said, set your channel video to the audience. So what did it say? It said, regarding your location, legally required to comply with the, to the online privacy act. We were know that. So our creators say, as YouTube creators, you are required to set up future and existing video as made for kids or not. Of course, some of my videos are made for kids and some of my videos are not going to be made up for kids. So it's giving you the help. Like to help you comply, we are introducing a new audience setting on YouTube Studio. Look at that, a new. So why it's important? Look about it. It's a, a new studio, YouTube Studio. So YouTube is helping me. Because I will not be able to do this all the time. If I forget one, I'm like, oh no. And I get caught and send an email or letter from the FTC or COPA saying, oh, you violated this law. I'm going to lose my mind. So then why is it important? Say, why every creator must set their audience? So these changes are required as part of the settlement with the U.S. Trade Commission, FTC, and the New York Authority General. It will help you comply with those, with those COPA that, uh, and all the laws. So it gives information. You say, we also use machine learning to help us identify videos that are clearly directed to young audience. Yeah, that part, 
if I'm not sure my video is for children or not, because it's targeting children or made for children, made for kids, um, I'm just going to play myself safe. I'm just going to switch it. I'm just going to put it for children. I have a small, time, small channel. I'm just starting. I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to stop it just because the laws are coming out. So instead, I'm just going to modify it and, you know, comply. I know I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know what you're going to do. I'm not telling you what to do. Because remember, I'm not a lawyer. So I cannot tell you legalize anything legal. That's up to you. You know, as creator, you know your channel very well. And what you need to do, that's up to you. So it, it tell you here also, and YouTube help. And the computer had to set it up in Android, iPhone, or iPad. And it tell you where to go, how to set it up. So if you need any help, you know, if you're new at YouTube, you know, just try your best to read. That's like I said, just read and get yourself informed. Um, I keep telling you how to upload videos during YouTube. You know, there's many changes there that you could do. You know, what happens if your your content is set as made for kids? Ooh, that's what will happen. It tell you what will happen when your channel is made for kids. Channel is meant for kids. That means you're not gonna get personal advertising, comment, channel bragging, watermarking, donation button, ooh, card or end screen, live chat or live chat donation, notification, bell. play that bell, or save, or, or save to playlist. Hmm. So, if some of my channels are many for kids that means they will not get all the information however my all the videos that i make that are not meant for children those are going to be able to get everything that i say here that my my videos that are made for kids are not going to get so i'm in between the two of them so, so um hopefully that works i don't know how it's going to be so Set up your channel as made for kids. You have story, community polls, and vacation. Starting January, I gotta make sure my videos are the right way. So we have frequent questions like, what happened if my video is set the audience incorrectly? Hmm, I have no idea. You said like this change are required as part of the settlement with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission. Uh, I don't know really. Just difficult to figure out what to do with this situation so as my modification I made I had made some changes on my channel of course I made it smaller I changed my title better better smaller my icon no longer is a picture of a cartoon I just have a person a picture of a person I put my name my logo and so it does not attract children so it's a person now. A cartoon character that will attract children to click on it. So this is the change that I made. Hopefully that do not attract too much children. Even though I have videos that means for audience for kids. But let's see. Hopefully everything was well. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. So you don't miss a thing. I am going to be uploading videos every week. Give you more information. Either regarding COPPA. Um, activity to do with children phone activity so thank you so much have a great day